Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Alvise Giustiniani, and I work for Philip Morris International. I'm responsible for the group that fights illicit trade, and I'll be moderating this panel today on uh, illicit trade, a destabilizing factor for the um, economical development. Together with me, I have three distinguished panelists. I'll start from my, my left. Uh, Laurent Macadier, he's a former magistrate in, in uh, France, and now um, senior advisor for legal affairs uh, for LVMH in, uh, in France. It's an international company. Then towards uh, going further, Carlos Moreira is an entrepreneur. He is the founder and CEO of Wiseki, a high-tech company. And before that, he had a long career in the UN organizations. And then last but not least, uh, um, Jean-Francois Tony, he is a um, prosecutor general in France, a distinguished career for almost what, 40 years now, and also the president of the Syracuse International Institute, as the name would uh, suggest, an uh, institute based in, in Sicily, uh, Italy, my, my own country. Um, before I give the, 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 the floor to the panelists, let me just maybe set the scene a couple of pills on illicit trade. I guess not everybody in this uh, room is familiar with the topic. So let me just highlight a couple of, of points which I think is relevant. The OECD, so the organization we all know, did a report uh, a couple of years ago on illicit trade, tried to, 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 to quantify the dimension of it. And they came up with a staggering figure which is above uh, $2 trillion. $2 trillion around the world is uh, the um, the turnover of illicit trade. Of course, it's an estimate. The organi organization that deal in illicit trade that do not publish any statistics. When it comes to the sector I know better, so that tobacco, um, um, around 10% of all cigarettes are smoked around the world are illicit. So one out of 10 is illicit. And that's giving a loss of revenues around uh, 40 to $50 billion uh, uh, to, the, to the states uh, in, in lost uh, taxes. So um, that's the first uh, on numbers, the size. The second one, I would like to mention the, 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 the dimension in terms of globalization. Um, you would be surprised uh, that you, I don't think you can think about any product that is not uh, uh, traded illicitly. illicitly. It goes from uh, fishery to timber, which is logged uh, uh, illicitly in countries and then smuggled in other countries. But it's tobacco, it's alcohol, it's uh, drugs, uh, arms, uh, um, human trafficking, human organs trafficking. So it's really a global, um, a global uh, phenomenon. And across the whole world, it doesn't, it doesn't know borders because products flow from one part to the other. It's very easy nowadays uh, with uh, um, transportation containers uh, are, are cheap to, to ship from one part of the world to the other. And, and last but not least, when it comes to the globalization, the organization that deal with it are international. They have operations in more than one country often, or they cooperate with organizations in different countries. And often they also cooperate with uh, uh, terrorist organizations, and, uh, and so that's one way that the terrorists are funding themselves. Um, third point is the drivers of illicit trade. There are many drivers of illicit trade, but I would say that the, the biggest one, and it's the most obvious one and understandable one, is to make money. The money you can make in, in trading illicit trade is huge. Just to give you an example, in a, if you buy a container uh, you, or, or cigarettes in some parts of the world, you can get it for $100,000, $150,000. If you smuggle it in a high-priced country like uh, UK or, or France, you can resell it for $1.5 million. Now, a bit of that money you need to give it to the, um, uh, to the intermediaries, but $100,000, $1.5 million, you don't need to be uh, great in mass to understand that the profit is huge. So I don't want to give you any ideas in this room, but you can buy for 100,000 and sell it one and a half million dollars. Of course, you need to have some networks and organization. But the other driver is that the penalties are very low. Do you ever read somebody that goes in prison for smuggling cigarettes? Very, very rarely. And the reason why is the penalties are low, the attention of society is low, politicians uh, and law enforcement have some often bigger uh, fish to fry. So, Society is not putting the right attention either. Uh, last but not least, and then I will, due to time, I'll give the floor to the panelists. I think an interesting study was done in, 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 uh, recently um, and was um, 
in, in a conference, was presented in a conference organized by the UNCTAD, which is the UN organization uh, for trade and development based in Geneva. And the study was done by TRACIT, which is an organization, an NGO uh, specialized in the fight against illicit trade. And basically this study showed that, that uh, illicit trade uh, is uh, hampering the, the reaching the uh, 17 SDGs, the Sustainable Development Goals. Uh, and, and, the, and all of them are impacted uh, because uh, illicit trade uh, is uh, undermining jobs in the country, so which uh, has a perverse uh, level of illicit trade. Is undermining states because uh, less revenues to invest in, 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 other, in other social activities. Um, illicit trade is fostering corruption, and corruption that means uh, it's uh, fostering then uh, um, less trust in the in, in, this, in the society, in the, in the country. So it, it, I think it's a very interesting study that shows how illicit trade and with related crimes like corruption and money laundering is impacting all the SDGs. Uh, or the development towards the 2030 uh, objectives. I'll stop it there, uh, and is a, is a framework of, of illicit trade, and I'll pass the word to my first panelist, uh, uh, Laurent. Uh, maybe you want to touch base on uh, um, how illicit trade is impacting the consumer, and maybe also on, uh, on, the, on the new platforms, the e-commerce platforms, and everything which is happening now with the, uh, on the web.